Hello and welcome to Travel Beans. I'm Alex and behind the camera is Emma. And we all know that British food is cherished the world over and it's obvious to see why. <laughs> so today I'm going to show you five British foods that you absolutely must try. But first, a word from our sponsors. Travel Beans! It's your favourite part, putting the sausage tinsel on the tree. Are you sick of the traditional sausage tinsel not being represented on Christmas jumpers? Then the Travel Bean Sausage Tree Christmas Jumper is for you. Check the link in the description to get your jumper today. And now back to our regular programming. Emma designed me this horrifically awesome Christmas jumper with sausage links going across and I absolutely hate how much I love it. It's amazing. And if any of you equally hate it just as much, then I'll leave a link in the description because it's our first ever bit of merch that we're selling. So if you want to support the channel, check out the link. What better way to celebrate than to show you five British dishes that all involve sausages, our lovely phallic delicious friends. These should be things that you can either make at home if you can't come to the UK, or if you come here, then you absolutely have to try them. To kick us off, we're going to go with a classic British breakfast. That is the breakfast bap. Now, this one is very simple. What you're gonna need is you're gonna need a chopping board, a knife, a roll, and you just <laughs> put it there, done. Next step, and this is in British food, this is very, very common. You're gonna need to whack on the oven. A lot of British food is just putting things in the oven and timing them right. <laughs> so these sausages are actually Irish sausages. These are like the breakfast sausage that we have here. And they're a little bit different to the, the nicer quality type of sausage, but we like to start with the low quality for the day. So following on the theme of whacking on the oven, you just whack them in the oven. Set the timer. While you wait for that, you might as well cook your bacon, if you fancy some bacon. Just throw it in. <laughs> Now everything is almost ready. It's for the final thing, it's for an egg. Personally, I don't have egg in my bap, but many British people love the egg inside the bap, especially Emma. There you go, lovely. And then the first thing you do is you pick out the shells. <laughs> I can't emphasize how much I don't cook, and uh, I forgot about the egg, and I've already done something wrong. I don't really know. <laughs> it's very bubbly. <laughs> I absolutely hate cooking. <laughs> oh my God. World famous British cuisine in action. I love that I'm living up to the stereotype. <laughs> Our lovely, fatty, delicious sausage. Look how good they look. Wow. <laughs> I'd like to know anyone watching at home, what would you put inside your breakfast bap? I just don't discriminate against any sausage. So I like the lowest form of sausage and I like the highest form of sausage. What's the highest form of sausage? one with high meat content, I guess. <laughs> this is not so much that. Does that look good? <laughs> it is what it is. I just like a little thin layer. I don't like too much, because I want to balance the flavours, you see. Oh, I see, yeah. <laughs> it's all about the palate. Okay, I think this looks absolutely epic. Leave in the comments, do you think this looks good? <laughs> or do you think it looks shocking? Do you think British food gets a bad rap? <laughs> Mm. <laughs> the next two dishes that I want to show you are two of my favourite snacks here in the UK. We don't usually make these at home, you will find these out in bakeries and different shops around the UK. And the first one I'm making is a sausage roll. This is a classic. Okay, so, we've got sausage meat, fried onions, pre-fried, um, egg. We're just going to chuck these all in together. Now all these recipes will just be in the links below. So if you want to make this at home, <laughs> then you can. If I ever come across like I know what I'm doing, I just want to emphasize not only how much I don't know what I'm doing, but also how much I'm not enjoying this. <laughs> also leave in the comments, are you someone that likes to cook? Or are you someone like me that just likes to eat? <laughs> You're doing a great job. So carrying on the theme, of I know what I'm doing. <laughs> and then take this out. Yeah. And pop it and spread it. Yeah. So pop and spread. Just into like a, a sausage shape. Hey, it looks pretty good. <laughs> this does not look good. <laughs> Take it into a sausage shape. There you go. <laughs> That's so gross. And then, so 
Now I roll it. Hey, you do. Beautiful. Look at that. Hey. Okay, and then now I'm going to chop it into little pieces. Yeah, little or big, whatever size you want. To the oven? To the oven! To the oven! I think all British food takes 20 minutes always. <laughs> always. It does seem that's the case. Oh! Look at these bad boys! Nice! They look amazing! This cooking game is pretty easy actually. It's easy. <laughs> to know what you're complaining about. You're like, oh, I've been slaving all day. Yeah, can I do that? <laughs> Moment of truth. I am so excited. I'm pretty proud of myself. Get out of town. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> 10 out of 10. What? Mm. You don't give out 10 out of 10 out. 10 out of 10. Are you feeling all right? Number one sausage roll in my life. <laughs> The love that went into it. Oh, I see. The love is you're complaining about how much you hate cooking. <laughs> yeah, that <laughs> seeped into it and it's delicious. The third thing on our list is my favourite British snack in the whole wide world of Britain. <laughs> <laughs> and it's the Scotch egg. I have shouted it from the rooftop in the past, even so much that we went to the place where it was made. It's kind of like a working class snack these days, but it turned out that it was developed and made in the most pretentious place possible, <laughs> Fortnum and Mason. Fortnum and Mason. <laughs> so we went and interviewed the, the house like historian uh, yeah. there and they explained to us the history of it. If you're interested, check out that video. Basically, a scotch egg is an egg wrapped around with sausage meat dipped in breadcrumbs. I know. I know, it sounds incredible. It's as good as it sounds. Um, so we've got eggs, flour, sausage meat with thyme and parsley, some egg and some breadcrumbs. <coughs> Dip in the egg into the flour. Then we're going to take the sausage meat and mold it around. Say goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> What's that, egg yolk? Egg yolk. <laughs> oh, just to make slimy. it extra slimy. Yeah. And then I'm going to plop it in here as well. The old plop and drop. And there you go. And then all you do is you just... <laughs> <laughs> Not really, you don't do that. To fry these things, you need a lot of oil. And you're going to whack them in. But you're going to whack them in carefully. I couldn't be happier with how this turned out. Okay, the presentation, that's all Emma. <laughs> but I am so excited to try this. If I was served this in a pub, I would be absolutely delighted. Usually I have scotch eggs when they're cold. So it's a bit different because it's warm. So I don't know. The sausage roll was a 10 out of 10. This is like an eight out of 10. Okay. So it was brilliant, but yeah. the sausage roll was like, just the best sausage roll ever. I had a bit of a brainwave when Al was making his scotch egg and I decided to make my own vegetarian version. So for anyone who's interested, who's veggie and, or doesn't eat pork, Richmond do really good meat-free sausages that taste pretty similar to the real thing. Even Alex likes them. Um, so basically I followed the exact same recipe, but I used the Richmond meat-free sausages instead of normal sausages. Oh, wow. That looks awesome. Oh my goodness. Okay, any veggies out there, this is the recipe for you for a scotch egg. Do it. Now is the time for our final meals. Meal four and five, these are classic British evening meals, especially around the winter time like now. I'm gonna be showing you bangers and mash and toad in the hole. Now bangers and mash you'll find in a lot of pubs in the UK, it's very easy to find. Toad in the hole, not as easy to find. This is definitely something that's more of a home-cooked meal. As both meals usually come with the same accompaniments of mashed potato and peas with gravy, I'm gonna cook both these at the same time. The most famous sausages really in England are Cumberland sausages and Lincolnshire sausages. The Lincolnshire sausages are gonna be with the bangers and mash. That one is super easy to make. This one's a little bit harder and requires a bit more prep. So. This is going to be sausage in batter, basically. So I've got to make the batter first, which I believe I just pour in here. It's been a long day of sausage making. I mean, even I'm sausaged out. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys are at home as well. 
now that's done, for the final time this evening, I am gonna whack the oven on. First I had to put the oil in the oven, and now I get the joy of adding a line of sausages. <laughs> so now things get fun, they get a bit frantic, we've got a lot of plates to spin. So now these sausages for the one meal have to go in here. At the same time, these have to come out. But that's not it. Now I need to pour this into here because it's hot oil and apparently that's important. So I pour on. Uh, uh, uh. This is like, it's like ready, steady, cook, and you're like rushing to get the 10 minutes, but there's absolutely no rush. Um, oh, this, this, um, pour water in. Mashed potatoes. Well, the peas are easy. Yeah, the peas are easy. I can easy. fry these up. Fry those up with a bit of butter. Next up, I'm going to make the gravy. So, this is bisto gravy, which in England, this, it's, as it says, the nation's favourite. It just, it's easy, <laughs> it's simple. Lovely thick gravy. And then throw in the onions. And then just pour it in here to look nice. Plop. Plop, plop. <laughs> Next up, mashed potatoes. I am literally the mash king. You are the mash king. And the secret is, as much salt as a human can handle. <laughs> oh, yeah. And as much butter as well as possible. A lot of butter. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure if it's actually good, it's just Emma tells me it's good, but I think she doesn't like mashing. So she always says, oh, you know, you have the best mash. Can you do it? I can't do it as well as you. <laughs> now I realised, actually, <laughs> it went straight to my head, the praise. <laughs> Next, the peas. peas. It looks like it's going to look pretty good. <laughs> my hands are so buttery from earlier. I can't turn off the oven. <laughs> I've never seen anything that big before. That is burning amazing. me. Amazing. <laughs> And then just the other sausages, they look pretty great as well. I almost got sick of sausages, now I can't wait for round three. <laughs> yeah, you might be wondering who's eating all this food or how is he eating all this food? Okay, I'm actually been ciphering off sausage dishes to my family throughout the day <laughs> and they're sick of sausages right now. We're almost there. <laughs> Two meals. Mine on taste test. So, yeah, these usually come with gravy. Again, to reiterate, these are not actually for me, but I'm going to try them anyway before I give them away. The bang is a mash. Like I said, you can get this in a pub, it's always good. Even a cheap bang is a mash is good, you know, mm -hmm. it's just, it's always a, a good standard. And you know what you're getting with it. It is what it is. It's just so good during the winter. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure if you need to have that association for the homeliness feeling that you get to make it extra good, but it's always great. I'm so excited to try this. Fair sausage. So a bit of, this is basically Yorkshire pudding, which is quite traditional with a roast dinner. Everything together, all as one. That is legit. Yeah? You're impressed with yourself. That is very good. Oh, that is great. <laughs> but that is it for my sausage extravaganza. <laughs> it certainly was an extravaganza. This, almost killed my love of sausages at one point in the day but i've rose back up oh, to yeah. fully love them <laughs> <laughs> and i'd like to thank you so much for watching if you're interested in this horrible christmas jumper <laughs> check it out in the link below and support your lovely beans if you like the video give it a thumbs up i hope you didn't like it too much because i don't really want to do this very often cooking food it's too stressful leave in the comments how much you missed me and subscribe if you're new for some reason. <laughs> so, thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and bring the camera closer. Beans out! <laughs>